Of course. So make your way to your uh, mat or the ground. Um, this choreography for bar this afternoon is a little bit more dance inspired at the beginning and no intimidation because I have zero dance experience. We're just gonna roll with it. So we will start in a small V position. Oops. One more adjustment in the 16 steps that it takes to get ready to go here. So in a small V, your heels are connected, toes out. So kind of feel that energy, uh, thighs will zip up so you feel that right away in the legs. Start to find that long spine. Hands will come underneath. I really don't care what we do with our arms here, but we're gonna move. So we'll start with that right toe tapping in front of the body, feet to the side, tap behind, and bend the knees lower. Tap behind to the side, in front, and lower. Tap the toes front, to the side, to the back, squat down, and back, side, forward. We'll keep flowing here. So as you continue to move, that leg is externally rotated. So we're starting to open through the hip, activate through the glutes for control. And the goal here as we go is to turn that tap into a lighter and lighter tap, making a smaller connection to the earth and maybe eventually floating those toes. And the only time we touch down is at the center when we come back to that squat. Release. Reach through the toes and back and down and back, side, front, release. Let's also start to think about that length in the leg from the hip bone all the way to the big toe. Let's take one more big circle here and squeeze the glute as we reach back, around and front. Right leg stays lifted here, kind of a rocking horse. So we'll pulse back and up. So if you look at the legs, we're still externally rotated here. Knees pointed toward the corners of the room. We'll really start to feel that glute warm up as we lift behind the body. Lift, lift. Bringing the knees a little bit higher here. We've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's step wide. Start to rotate through the spine, side to side. Let's open the arms here, actually. Get a little bit more movement through the spine. Sink the hips down, maybe pulse. Tailbone dropping toward the earth. Arms sweeping side to side. Five, four, squeeze the side body as you twist. Two, and one, come back to center. Find that small V, left leg, tap forward and side, and back, plie, back, forward, plie, forward, side. All right, so we're gonna flow here again, just like the other side. Start to get a little more stability in that standing leg so that you can think about making that tap a little bit lighter and eventually floating the toes up. Maybe lowering a little bit deeper into that squat. Time to float here if you'd like to work with the balance and squat. And squat. We'll take one more full circle here. Yeah, embrace the wobble, especially if happy hour has already started for you. You know who you are. Last one. I love it. So a little bit more of a gentle warm up. We'll take that forward and back, that rocking again. Externally rotate, squeezing the glutes. As we finish our warm up here, I'm gonna tell you where we're going. We're gonna do a little bit more work seated in the chair today, really focusing on some protraction and retraction through the spine, strengthening through the chest. Forward and back, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Step wide here this time, let's press. Press, press. Maybe lower lift. Final opportunity to warm up through those inner thighs and legs. Maybe make it a little bigger. Twist eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Heel toe those feet together. Take a big inhale, reach up. 
On your exhale, swan dive, lead with the heart all the way down. Maybe shake the legs out, grab those weights. We're gonna come right to our chair. So as you come to the chair, we're gonna find that really nice posture, the one that your mother always wanted you to have. Scooch the bum right up to the edge of the chair. Before we add any arm work here, see what it feels like. The point of connection on the edge of your chair is probably your sits bones. So press the sits bones in and then think about lifting pelvic floor. And what you'll feel is those sits bones kind of squeezing toward one another, a little activation through the glutes. Hang on to that. Feet are grounded in the earth, palms down, just starting with some lateral lifts here. So option to make this a little bit smaller and just gently tap the thumbs on top of the knees or maybe bring the weights down so that we're tapping the seat of the chair. So now that we've got the arms moving, let's check in again with the bum. If you are squeezing those sits bones toward one another, you're feeling some glute activation right here. And maybe even play with that in your body. See what it feels like as you release them and just allow the glutes to be soft and just sit on the chair as opposed to activating, squeezing those sits bones toward one another. So keep this lift here. Four, three, two, one. Pause, weights are up, belly button pulled toward the spine, super tall. We start that protraction and retraction. So all it is is a slight squeeze of the shoulder blades together, heart comes through, and then reach the weights forward, feel a little rounding through the thoracic spine. Lower the weights and lift. Open, close, release. So it's small at first, but you'll feel it right away in the shoulders. So we're working on that shoulder stability here. A lot of control in this very small movement. And as we've got a little bit more complex movement on the upper half of the body, check in with those sits bones. Press in and lift, pull toward one another. One more like this and we'll make it a little bit bigger. Now as the weights come up, we'll pull the elbows behind the body as the shoulder blades squeeze, round the upper spine as the weights shoot forward and release. Lift, elbows back, press forward, release. Lift, back, forward, release. So almost allowing the spine to come into that extension and flexion that we would if we were doing cat-cow. Make it big. Three more here. Two. And one. Hinge the body forward just a little bit here. Belly button pull to the spine, lift up. So now the shoulders are coming all the way up. Shoulder blades squeeze. Just turn to face you. So gaze down just in front of the toes. Maybe even tapping the weights underneath the knees, squeeze up. Really strengthening the back. Shoulder blades squeeze all the way together. Lift up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release the weights for a moment. Kind of shake it out here. Come right back in. Weights are back in line with the shoulders. This time, let's walk the toes up toward the chair. Heels are lifted. Reconnect, pull the sits bones toward one another. Weights start to squeeze in, pulse in. Noticing in your body, if you feel like the tops of the shoulders are starting to crunch up, find that softness in the tops of the shoulders. Keep the work in the chest here. Uh-huh. And now add the knees, squeezing toward one another. So knees are gonna tap in as the weights come in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold here. Squeeze the knees toward one another. Static hold with the weights. Really squeeze those knees. Lift the hip bones at the same time. Everything is pulled in super tight. Pelvic floor lifted. Just six, five, four, hang on, two, and one. Release everything down. Shake it a little bit here. So we'll move a little bit in opposition here on the chair and then we'll stand up and get moving a little bit bigger. Let's take the right arm, actually put both, put both weights in the left hand, take the right arm, wrap it around the body. So similar to what we do at the bar, just to kind of keep our hip bones stable. And again, before we do anything with the upper body, press through the sits bones, squeeze them together, feel that energy in the glutes, reconnect. 
and we'll just start a little bicep curl here. So both weights in the left hand, full range bicep curl, and we'll add a lift of the right knee. So left arm is working, right knee lifts up and up. So pulling that right knee up toward the right shoulder, but we're a little bit limited here because we want that nice straight spine, that right hand is kind of holding the hip bone still. So starting to feel that work, again, in that lowest part of the core, that space between the belly button and the hip bones, lift the knee as high as you can while you're still connected through that sits bone. Four, three, two, one, pulse up. Seven, six, five, four, three. Last movement here, and one. Extend the right toes, extend the weights long, pull in. Yes. And if you wanna get rid of one weight here, if it's getting a little heavy as we extend that lever, go for it. Eight, seven, six, five. Heart is open, three, two, and one. Release down, right to the other side. Weights in the right hand, left hand wraps around the body. I'll face this direction this time. So reconnect, sits bones squeeze together, start those bicep curls, full range, and lift. Weights coming all the way up toward the shoulder, extending all the way long. When you're ready, left knee starts to pull up. So you feel the core activate, but definitely want to start lifting that left sits bones to bring it up a little bit higher. We'll resist the urge to do that. And again, as we move, press the sits bones into your chair, squeeze them toward one another. One final time. Yes. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Pulse here, eight, seven, six, five, four. Looks good. Two. And one, final step, extend the toes long, arm comes tall up here, and take that bicep curl up at shoulder height. Again, you can easily remove one of those weights. We've got six, five, four, lengthen the spine one more time, two, and one, release down. Keep the weights with you. We'll come to a standing position. You can pull that chair to the side for a bit. So finally, we'll create some space here. Take that nice wide V, sway the hips side to side here, and then we'll settle in. Shoulder blades squeeze back. We've slid down that, slid down that wall now. We're ready to work. So now we'll take the arms and rotate so palms are up toward the sky, and we'll just lower and lift here. So straight arms, maybe a little micro bend in the elbow. And now starting to kind of focus on that stability through the lower body. A Little bit of fatigue in the arms here, so we'll focus our energy on something else. Heels are really ground down and pressing, opening the outer edges of the knees to the wall behind you, super externally rotated through the legs. Let's stay here for four, three, two, one. Keep lowering and lifting, but we'll bring the arms out to the side. So now as we come down, those weights are gonna drop behind the legs, tap behind the body. Looks good. Six, five, four. We'll make a combo, two and one. Front and sides. Lift to the front and V. You might wanna bring the weights on the inside of the legs now to make it easier to flow. We'll add on one more piece here. Option to lift and releve up onto the toes as the weights come to the corners. And lift. So staying low as the weights come in front of the body. Take that big lift, warming up to the calves as we come out to the sides. Four, three, two, all right, one. Okay, hands come to heart center. We're gonna start a combo here. Stay externally rotated. Ground down through that left foot. We'll press up, passe. Right leg comes up to the calf. 
Find your balance if you can. Right leg is gonna step back into that curtsy, and as it does, right arm shoots up, left weight comes down toward that right ankle. So we've got this big stretch in the right side body. Come back to center, take that wide step. Ground down through the right heel, passe, left leg comes up. Find that curtsy squat, left arm reaches up, right weight comes down, and back to center. We'll go slow one more time. Passe, curtsy back, right arm reaches up, back to center. Passe left, curtsy back left, left arm reaches up, and wide V. Let's go a little quicker. Oops. Passe, curtsy, step wide. Passe, curtsy, step wide. Pause here for a moment. I forgot we're gonna make this a little more challenging for the arms. Reach the arms up in a V. Now passe, curtsy, back and center. Passe, curtsy, lift and center. Passe, curtsy and center. Passe, curtsy. The next time we come down on that curtsy, pause and hold. Pulse, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Passe, center, left leg up, step back. Pulse, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Up, center, right leg up, step back. This time, pulse the arms back. So pressing the hands behind the body, still pulsing in your curtsy. Four, three, two, one. Back through center, passe, left leg back, pulse the arms back. Six, five, four, three. Keep going, one more set. Back to center, step wide, lift, curtsy. This time, bend, reach, bend, reach. We'll stay here for two eight counts. Four, three, two, one. Again, eight. Seven, squeeze the thighs. Four, three, two, one. Lift up and center. Left leg up, step back. Bend, reach. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last eight here. Seven, six. Keep going. Four, three, two, one. Back to center. Find that wide V. Press and press. Last little move here. Press up, soften the tops of the shoulders, strengthen the back, super stable. Option to stay here or lift the heels. Challenge your balance a little bit and press. 10, nine, eight, seven. Pull the lower rib cage in, pull that rib cage back in the body. Three, two, and one. Heel toe the feet back together. You can sit those weights down for a moment. And we'll take that roll down, take an inhale up first, and take that slow roll down one vertebrae at a time. And when you arrive, walking forward into your first plank. So we've got a hold here. And again, it's sort of like that targeted movement that we had when we were on the chair. So just making some micro adjustments and holding. Pressing the heels behind you. Hamstrings are lifted. Think about internally rotating. So those inner thighs reaching up to the sky. Feel that teeny adjustment in the body. Inner thighs lifting. Belly button, of course, pulled in. Tucking the pelvis up toward the lower rib cage. And then finally letting the heart come up through the scapula to really open. Gaze is down in front of the fingertips. We're gonna hold here eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Tuck the chin to the chest, lift the hips for a moment. Walk it up. If we float back down into plank, that left leg is gonna come up off the earth. Flex the foot, we'll take that tiny press back, press through the heel. As we rock forward, shoulders come in front of the fingertips, point the toe, rock back and forth. Heel back and point. Heel and point. Eight, seven. Feel that energy and warmth in the right thigh. Super supported here. Five, four, three, two, and one. 
foot comes down, lift to down dog. One inhale here. As you exhale, float forward, right leg lifts up, press through the heel, back and forward. Press and point, press and point. Yeah, beautiful. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release the toes, release the knees. Sit back into child's pose. Take that lateral stretch. Stretch the arms. Yeah. We have one more movement in plank here. We'll do a little side plank work before we stand back up. When you're ready, float back forward. Right hand will come under the face, floating to the pinky edge of that right foot. Find your side plank. Option to release that right knee down to the earth. So often when we thread the needle, I ask you to keep everything square. This time, I'm going to invite you, as the left hand comes down, tap, let the shoulder square, hips are gonna close a little bit, and then lift that right hip, or left hip up toward the sky. Right body squeezes. Lower down, left fingertips come up. Rotate, left hand comes down, hip lifts, and down. And left arm, and hip, and arm, and hip. Eight. Seven, six, big squeeze in that right side body. I think we've got four, three, two, and one. All right, release to the knees, come right to the other side. Maybe take a little stretch in the side body. Left hand comes underneath the face. Pinky edge of the foot grounding you here. Reach the right fingertips up. Right hand lands, hips lift. And lower, hand up. Hand down, hips lift. Lower, and up. And down, hips lift. And lower. Beautiful. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, really focus on that squeeze. Lift that left side body. Three, two, and one. All right, swivel around wherever you are. Lift back up, down dog, and slowly walk the toes up to meet the hands. Grab those weights one more time and take that slow roll up. Triceps are next. Feet hip distance parallel. Start to sink down, kind of finding that chair pose. Tailbone back. For the first round, let's sweep the arms back. Palms up toward the sky, fingertips toward the earth. And we'll just start with a straight arm lift. So as we hinge forward here, lift the belly button. Again, kind of take that squeeze of the hip bones up toward the rib cage. Engage everything through the core. We're gonna add on here a little stability challenge. Let's take that right toe forward, oops, bend both legs. Right leg comes forward to straight, point through the toe, and that toe starts to lift. So as we bring the weights behind the body, that right leg lifts up straight. Leg doesn't have to be straight. So nice bend into that left leg, feeling the work in the left leg, lengthen the right. For eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, stay low here, bend, reach. So we're bending and reaching through the arms and the leg. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Rotate the weight so they're facing one another, squeeze in. Maybe that right thigh squeezes into the left here. If you can hold it, do it. Otherwise, just hold that right leg out stable, squeeze and squeeze. For four, three, two, and one. Take a break, shake it out. Right to the other side. Slide down that wall, pull the belly button in, rib page squeezes, shoulders open. This time we're gonna rotate the palms open, start that lift, straight arm lift. Pressing back and up and up. When you're ready, ground down through that right foot, sink into it a little deeper. Extend the left toes long, kind of get your bearings here. And then eventually add in that lift and lift. Again, check in with the upper body. The tops of the shoulders are soft. 
keeping the work in the triceps. Actively squeeze. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Again, bend, reach, bend, reach, bend, reach. Yeah. Teeny tiny movement. Bend in the body. Snap right back in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Weights come together toward one another. Maybe squeezing that left thigh into the right. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly roll all the way down. You can release the weights. And as we start to get to our chair, maybe take some stretches through the arms, shake it out a little bit, and grab that chair. We'll come right into our thigh work. All right, we'll start again in that small V position, heels in, toes out, facing the bar, fingertips are light. So right away, as you feel that squeeze in the heels, feel the glutes squeeze and lift. So super supported the glutes, belly in, spine is long. It's a lower and a lift to begin. So coming up onto the balls of the feet, releasing the heels, warming the calves, lift and lower. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Stay lifted. Now walk the feet maybe a little closer together so the heels connect. And now as you start to slide down that wall, the legs will come into that diamond shape, opening up. So we'll take a little lower and lift here. Those toes spread super wide, feeling super grounded through all 10 toes, right up on the balls of those feet. Now what does it feel like in your body if you squeeze the heels together a little bit more? really activate. Could you do that? Squeeze a little more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold low right here. Squeeze the heels. Squeeze a little more. Lower down two inches. Squeeze the heels. Pull the belly button in. Take an inhale. Take an exhale. Sink down a little bit deeper. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Press through the heels. One more time, lower. Inhale. And exhale, press through the balls of the feet, lift up. Heels come down here for a moment. Just starting that lower and lift, heels down on the earth. The movement will be markedly smaller. So just allow that to happen. And then squeeze and zip the thighs up. Just four, three, two, one. Stay low here, grounding down through that right leg. Allow that bend to stay there. Extend and reach through the left. Heel. And we'll lower and lift. So that heel is going to tap. Hips still externally rotated, and we're allowing that bend in the left leg. Lift and lower. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, now point the toes, pulse up and up and up. Still have that gentle bend, maybe even taking the right hand to the hip, some stability in the hip. The weight kind of wants to go to the right side of the body as that left leg lifts. So try to pull back to center with hand. Pulse four, three, two, one. Hold the leg there. Now releve up onto the ball of the right foot, slide down a little bit more, bend reach with that left leg. Bend reach. Staying right here or maybe adding that pulse with the standing leg as well. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold here. Inhale, exhale, and release back to center. Again, come back to those calf raises. Legs are in a diamond shape. Just a couple here. One more lift. Hold up. Connect the heels. Start to slide down that wall. Legs come wide into diamond. Take an inhale and hold. Exhale, sink a little deeper. Inhale, hold. Exhale, sink. And hold. Sink it down. One last time. Hold. And sink it down. Full range, lift all the way up, 
Lower as low as you can. Inhale to lift, lower. So we're bringing the bum as close to the heels as we can, being mindful of the shape of the back. Spine stays long, still reaching through the crown of the head, lengthening the back of the neck. And as we zip up the thighs, squeeze, glute squeeze, three, two, and one. Come back to center. Let's slide down again, actually. Let's stay there, coming to the other side. So now that left foot is gonna ground down. Actually, we'll come to the heel, I'm sorry. Left heel, extend that right leg long and flexed. Tap the heel and lift and tap and lift. So you can keep your torso facing the chair. I just had to get my mind right here. Heel lifts, toes to the sky. Gentle bend down that left leg, super stable. Ground down and lift, four, three, two, and one. Point the toes, pulse up and up. Legs still externally rotated, so if you look at the body, you should see the knee in line with the corner, toes pointing to the corner. Pulse up for four, three, two, one. Pause, reach through the toes, releve, lift up onto the ball of that left foot, and then start to slide down that wall again, bending the leg. Bend, reach, bend, reach, bend, reach. Option to just continue with the bend, reach, or add that standing leg. Little movement there. Looks good, feeling strong. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Step out wide for a moment. Take that full range, releve up onto the toes and sink down and lift up and sink down, lift up. Again, we're bringing the hips as close to the earth as we can here. Slide down, press through the balls of the feet. Slide down and lift. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to center, heel, toe, the feet. As we move into the glutes, we want to take the body a little bit farther away from the chair. Kind of find that flat back fold over position. Not totally flat back, but maybe kind of at a 45 degree angle. Really pull the belly button up toward the spine to keep the spine super lifted here. Gaze will be down probably toward the top seat of the chair. Grounding down through the right toes, left leg is gonna lift up to a 90 degree angle. Press back through the heel. We'll press up and lift and up and press. Press. Your option as we work through the glute series is again to lift up into the ball of that right foot. If you do, that right leg is gonna bend as well. So take that bend, press up through the heel. Three, two, one, stay lifted here, pulse and pulse. It feels like in this position, the body really wants to kind of take that energy, take that stress up into the shoulders. So again, let's make that effort to soften the tops of the shoulders. Lengthen the spine, pull the belly button in, really press through the heel, three, two, and one. Leg comes back to center, lift to the side, fire hydrant, and lower, and lift, and lower, lift. Six, five, four, three, two, stay lifted here, pulse up and up. This is getting to be a lot for the right calf of the right leg. You always have the option to release that heel down, keep the bend in the leg, or stay lifted. Three, two, one. Final movement on this side. Left knee comes to the left elbow. Squeeze the left side body. Sweep the leg around. Squeeze the thighs. That left leg crosses behind the right. Squeeze up, pull to the elbow, and back thigh squeeze. Tap and cross, and tap, and cross, and tap. We're not really allowing that left knee to rest behind the right, just really squeezing at the toppest part of the thigh, closest to your lady parts or male parts. Squeeze in. Three, two, stay in that cross position here and pulse, pulse. Six, four, two, and one. Release everything up. Reset the legs. 
reset the hinge, belly button pulled in, shoulders back, spine is long, gaze at the top of the chair. Right leg comes up, 90 degree angle. Start to press up and lower and up. And also notice we've worked with spinal extension and flexion in the back today. We don't want any of that here. Sometimes as the leg kicks up, the chest wants to come forward, the spine wants to extend. We're gonna use the muscles in the core to keep the rib cage in the body as we press back. Six, five, we pulse in four, three, two, and one. And pulse, pulse. Go ahead and lift that back heel. If you like, take that bend in the leg. Three, two, and one. Right knee comes down, lift up to the side, fire hydrant. And lift, and lift. So again, the hips want to shift here. Try to keep that work. Focus that energy on squeezing through the right hip, the right glute. Keep the energy on the right side of the body. Just pressing down through the ball of the left foot. We're going to stay lifted in two. One, stay here, pulse up and up. Six, five, four, three. Last movement, elbow comes to the knee right here. Tap to the elbow, sweep around and cross. Tap to the elbow, sweep and cross. And tap and cross. Going a little bit quicker if you can, only if you feel like you have that stability in the hips. Super strong, tap and cross for three, Two, thigh squeeze, one. Last time, thigh squeeze together and pulse. Squeeze that right thigh into the left, right here. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release down, last time. Legs are hip distance parallel. Lift up, start to slide down that wall. Pause and hold. Squeeze the knees together. Take an inhale, exhale, slide down. Press the knees toward each other even more. Super connected here. Take an inhale, slide down, squeeze, squeeze. Two more, inhale, slide down. The good news is we don't have to get back up, friends. Slide it down one more time, hold here. Bum hovering on top of the heels, maybe take the hands off the chair. Toe stand, eight, seven, six, thighs squeeze. Three, two, and one. Hands come down. Go ahead and have a seat. Take a deep breath. Shake the legs out. We'll take that curved spine to start our core work. So start to reach the spine behind you. And as you get closer to the earth, we're going to allow the elbows to come down. So as the elbows come down, take the bottoms of the feet to the earth. And I would invite you to take your feet a little wider than hip distance. We're going to create a really strong base. So press through the elbows, feel the chest lift up and out, shoulder blades squeeze together in that uh, protracted position, retracted, and then we're going to lift. So ground down through that right elbow. We're just going to lift that left hand up and tap. So the action comes from that right elbow pressing into the earth. Play with the feet, maybe coming a little bit wider. We'd like to have stillness in the hips here. So play with the lower body. If you bring the legs together, if you take them out, whatever position allows the hips and shoulders to stay square, dig in with that right elbow a little bit more. Lift up, right side body active. Three, two, and one. Now cross over outside of the right knee and cross. Squeeze cross. Four. Three, two, one, pulse here, reach eight, seven, six, push through that right elbow right here, final, and one, release down. Maybe let the chest come up for a moment, release the neck if that feels good. And then pull the rib cage back into the body, come right back, press through the elbows, left elbow presses down, right arm reaches up, and tap, and up, and tap. Again, play with the legs. Play with the position of that left elbow. See what it feels like if you inch that left elbow back a little bit. Really press and ground down. Action in the left side of the body here. 
Feel that muscle heating up on the side of the body all the way around the back. Reach four, three, two, one. Next we cross, right hand to the outside of the left knee, tap elbow, reach and tap and reach. If you've lost that energy in the connection with the left elbow, dig in a little bit deeper. Four, three, squeeze and reach, two, and one, and pulse, pulse. Four, reach three, reach two, and one. Sweep back up, find your boat pose. Final work of the day. We've got high-low boat. So option to have the knees bent or come into your full Navasana. We'll slowly lower down. Inhale, reach up and overhead. Exhale, squeeze up and lower and lift. Wherever you're working, squeeze in the belly. Big energy. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to your boat pulse here. Teeny squeezes. Seven. This is it. Five. Pull those knees in. Fold in half. Three, two, and one. Slowly extend the legs, fold over here. Let's take that right foot to the inside of the left leg. Turn and square the hips toward that right leg. Start to fold over, maybe fingertips come to the foot, underneath the foot, or maybe just to the shin. If you'd like to open a little bit more through the lower back, you might take the right hand to the outside of the foot and then sweep that left arm behind the body, opening the rib cage, squeezing that left shoulder, that left elbow behind the body, maybe even extend the fingertips up and over, rotating the spine here, and start to rotate back to center, square the shoulders, come back in, walk the leg up. Let's cross that right leg over the left. I apologize, we might go just a couple of minutes over. We'll take a twist here. Right fingertips reach up and as the right arm sweeps behind the body, create that second spine, the heel of the hand right next to the bum. Press down and lengthen here, gazing over the shoulder. Each inhale making us a little bit taller, crown of the head lifting. Each exhale dropping into twist. And back through center, taking the bottoms of the feet together, finding butterfly, start to guide the outer edges of the knees down to the earth, lengthen, and then maybe bending the elbows, pulling the torso closer to the feet. Those elbows might gently press the inside of the legs open just a little more. Yeah. One more breath here. And then unwind, right leg comes over the left. We'll take that twist on this side. Right hand comes to the outside of the leg. Left fingertips reach up and then create that second spine. Hand comes right next to the bum. Inhaling to get longer through the body. Exhaling to rotate and twist. This is one of the positions where I feel like it's really easy to just envision that rib cage wrapping around and rotating around the spine. Creating all of that space, mobility, and as we come back to center, left leg lengthens, right leg comes to the inside of the body. Sweep the fingertips up, square the hips toward those left toes. Start to fold over. Find your stretch here. Honoring where you are, maybe giving a deeper stretch for the lower back, left fingertips to the outside of the foot. Right hand might come to that right lower back and then start to open that right shoulder. Elbow coming behind the body. Maybe even reaching the arm up overhead. Big stretch for the lateral abdominals. And when you're ready, release back to center. Walk the hands up. Thank you so much for joining me for bar today. Hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And we'll see you again soon.